Hey love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for, you know, um... For a while i have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe you know uplift that you truly need it or even resonate with go ahead and give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated sending so much love light protection and infinite abundance and prosperity in every kind of way possible from all directions and all levels you know towards that way and so this is the post of uh, power of protection anyone who comes across it from any energy of ill ill intentions negativity and the evil eye this is for you and the video I'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey Oka's you learn the assignment you are hitting different heights and that is so true you going through different things and when I tell you it is just like the more I, I, I guess it's just uh going through so many different transitions into your life and it has not been easy you know you're standing in your power you're speaking your truth you're standing up for yourself you're cutting uh, away from people and situations that are no longer serving you and it's so so uh you know that's so good you know you have to keep on going keep on keeping on and it was just like y'all when i tell you yesterday i felt out when i felt out laughing it was this dude um that uh i don't know if you've been on uh uh, uh let me see youtube for a while i don't know why i got stuck on that it was this guy playing the joker and i thought really i was like dang he looked just like he pleasure you know and the way he was moving you know if you ever seen the dark night um when he was in the car and you just see him you know in the police car he hanging out the back <laughs> you know like one of them dogs to be doing and he just woo, 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 have flamethrowers and stuff like that he has a new tequila and it says Delion, and it says Delion Catila, and it's made by a black man. I started busting out laughing because I was just like, no, you know, hey, no, no phone on people, but I did not know that man was black the way because he had gloves on, had his hair just like Heath Ledger, acting like I'm walking like him. When I tell you he was mirroring him, it wasn't even funny. I'm gonna see, hopefully, um. I can show y'all this without uh hopefully it'll show out because when i tell you this mess was funny it was really funny to me and i was just like i've seen it all i really have seen it all and it was just at that point where i was just like okay what what, what is really going on here but uh i'm trying to see if i can find a guy dog um it, it was just like hold up is this it i'm trying to see um what was taking place yeah here it go let me see if i can show y'all and you know i can't play it just you know for copyright reasons and i mean it's not spo not us uh, i'm not sponsoring him and he ain't sponsoring me so but it was just funny where it was when i tell you i was just looking like you know is this something that they released that um that I just didn't know about or you know that you know I never paid attention to before or whatever and I was just like what the heck you know what is, what is all this going down I guess I let me see I, I guess it's not meant for me to show as soon as I flipped my daggone phone over all of a sudden the thing went away I was just like god dog oh here it is let me see if y'all can see that I don't know if y'all can see it or not Ugh. yeah you see him walking there you go with the flamethrower and he hanging out the back of the car. I don't, God, dog. It's just the way it's flashing like that. Y'all really can't see it. But, oh. Uh, you know, oh. Uh, but it was just like, he had like a flamethrower and stuff like that. And he was just like, you see this big D come up, you know. And I thought it was, it kind of looked like the symbolism, uh, the symbol um, from Jay Z's. Uh, uh, liquor that like he has a do say but it was just like D and it says Delion tequila and it's made by a black man I was like oh shoot hey Okas is really killing it I'm like oh my god but yeah it, it's just like so many different things is taking place into your life and it's allowing you to really see the perspective and it's just like all the insight that I was getting really was like really 
crazy it was like not it was insight downloads and all this other stuff where it was showing different people are starting to see more of even in the waking life as well as in the sleep realm that you're starting to see a repeated you know um you know totem whatever is standing for within your within the level of our tribe and it's just being able to know this is the the animal that you have been getting connection with thank you spirit they were telling me to let y'all know whatever that is you have to be on a tight connection with that whatever repeated animal that you're seeing it could be an owl it could be a wolf um it could be a, a lion uh, uh, any anything squirrel you know owl and stuff like that or even raven or crows um, I hear that there's different ones where you're hitting high, different high pitch ringing like it's like different ones where it could be you know uh, spiritual uh, was it confirmation your chills are starting to upgrade a lot more than it was before this is the reason why you're sleeping at different patterns or, or you sleeping a lot less uh, you can be hot cold hot cold um, the intense ringing at times you may even hear messages by you know if you're hearing more of um, you know you're you're connecting higher with your you know your higher self so you may be hearing them speaking to you saying you know congratulations or you know we got your back or um you're standing in your truth you're standing in your strength because things are starting to get very heavy right now it's like you're getting harder test after test after test i'm hearing right now that there may have been people that are even having dreams with their hearing knocking it could be knocking on the glass or it could be knocking you're knocking on the door or there's somebody knocking at your door and you'll wake up you know trying to figure out somebody's at your door or not so those are the different things that's taking place you're seeing that everybody and everything is coming into your life as a lesson as well as you're projecting lessons as well you know i was just talking in the other video you know and i you know i had to make you know really speak to spirit right before i did that and it was just like i don't want to talk about this but it's just like you're standing in your truth you're standing in your power these are different things that even even when it makes you uncomfortable about talking about them because it's just like you know i'm not trying to be in that vibration of where i'm being projecting off as a victim in victim mentality or trying to speak on somebody's character but then it was just like no you're not because you're coming from a healing vibration of projecting towards others to be able to speak up and stand on for their own you know never be scared to speak on the different things that are taking place into your life you know things want to take place where um enemies or karmics or toxic people even if you're family you know they they get all off on trying to see you get hurt you being stressed out making you question make you feel like you're not loved you're not understood constantly placing your confusion because they want you to be able to stay in the uh, the illusion vibe of uh, the matrix so these are the different things that you're really standing forward on that you're really passing and you're surpassing that and those are the things that's really it takes a lot to be able to do that when you're standing in that because you're go, you may be going through things where you be feeling like it's de defeating towards yourself where you're getting tired you're getting exhausted you know it's hard for you to stay strong 24 7 um it's hard for you to be able to be positive 24 7 you know you're a superhero within yourself and with other people that you may not even know about and it's telling you when you're being honest with yourself yes there are going to be times where you're going to be very up in vibration and they're going to be very low in vibration but it, if it if it's you and it feels like you're going up and down up and down up and down you have to understand somebody's pro, uh, somebody's projecting their energy on you as well especially if you know that even though you may not know what's going on behind the scenes you're you're still allowing yourself to be at peace and that takes a lot of strength to be able to do and for you to be able to do that being in a line of peace you're gonna have different things that's gonna come to you is very toxic chaotic codependent you know narcissistic and all these things and it's just being able to show you do not allow yourself to lower your standards don't allow yourself to be speaking at a vibration to where it's you project you lowering yourself to be in the projection towards low level frequency people or low, low level frequency situations you're allowing yourself to really be tested at that and these are the different things that are going to also strengthen you too because it'll be like different situations where um people may project things on you and it doesn't work and then the next thing you know they're really trying again you know i've been at that type of vibration where you know i'm like you know if you're really helping why do they keep allowing themselves to keep going into that point always trying to go out their way to really get me and it's just like you're really you know you're telling spirit you're really not doing something in their life if they keep coming back at that and it's just like yes we are 
when you even when you're praying for people and you're trying to wonder why why hell is breaking loose because that prayer is working people when people are not in that vibration where they want to heal all hell will break loose because they know where universe their higher self their higher self is like oh my god if you do not freaking stop and just go heal you about to mess us both up it be in that vibration of that so it has to be able to allow yourself to know stay in your element stay focused by all causes by all you know by all means stay focused within that these are the different things that's going to be able to allow yourself are you going to go back into your old ways are you going to allow that person to take you out of police or allow those group of people to take you out of police are you going to allow yourself to be you know really triggered by their scare tactics no matter what like i told y'all i had a gun pulled out on me two weeks ago then it was today where i had another person trying to do it again it was just the, the whole point where it was just like even my higher self would say hey cross the street hey go this way hey go that way you know pay attention to that see this watch how that pattern just popped up again you know all those different things is taking place into your life where it's all telling you you know where to be able to allow yourself to be in your vibration for because is those are the different things where you're becoming more alert you know and those are the different things that it was just like okay it, it, this is like <laughs> this is not something easy to be able to do and it's like when you're allowing yourself to be in your purpose there's nothing easy going to be taking place into your life you have to be able to understand that you also have to be able to expect the unexpected you know anything where it's showing change into life where even you know it's hard to be in a change because it's just like all the situations that we're going through it's you know it's being shown it's being something so simple into what is showing you but it's not it is hard to be able to place it it never not stated it hard but it's going to take a challenge to be able to stay in that vibration because you have to understand as well as I do I have to remind myself you're allowing yourself to move at a different vibration different speed different different perspective into your life and that's not easy to do especially if you've been in a frequency where you've been in that same frequency for so long and then it takes something very tragic for it to be able to say hey this is that time where you're really going to have to put your best foot forward this is that, that time where you're really going to have to understand that person of you who you are to the core to where it's in your truth and your power your your beast mode whatever it is this is what's taking you there and for you to take it you there you're going to deal with very crazy situations in your life where it may uh trigger trauma anger upset distractions uh defeat where it makes you feel defeated all these different things you are transforming and for you to be able to transform and you're being able to touch a whole new different frequency things going to you know keep on getting very hectic in your life and these are the different things that you have to be able to prepare yourself for prepare for the you know being the you know expect the unexpected allow yourself to be comfortable being in the uncomfortable you know whatever you are and however you are at this time you have to understand this is the person you prayed to be a long time ago you're sitting in that vibration right now and these are the different things we're showing you who you truly are where are you in your vibration there's you know just stay focused on you and be into that be into that person you know you're understanding the assignment it's just like anything that's coming into your life like i said in the last video that's coming to trigger you is bringing up anything that you have to know hey this is something i really need to allow myself to heal on this is the appreciation because it's hard to be able to see something when it really hits you sideways where it's like okay this really messed me up or if you're that type of person like me i used to always want to take it to the streets you want to get gutter i can get more gutter if you want to go brawl we can brawl it could be that you know two tears in a bucket let's take it to the stage you'll be one of those type of vibrations this is that that time where you cannot allow yourself to do that because this is what that person wanted you to do this is what the devil wanted you to do this is that that enemy what they want to do they will keep poking uh, a, a bear in hibernation is like you know what look I'm you know I'm focused on myself I'm not focusing on these people or that situation I'm trying to be at my peace I'm trying to allow past to go you know let it go but there are certain people that don't want to let me go there are certain people that don't want to close that door you have to understand there are certain people that are wanting to stay in your journey when clearly they, they see that everything is showing them they don't belong there you have to be at work you have to be honest you have to be accountable everything that you're doing they're having people come into your life that's going to be on that vibration. So you may be in a situation where you may feel lonely or you feel like you're alone. You're always by yourself. And, you know, we always have to remind ourselves we're never alone. We always have, you know, our guides, our ancestors, our archangels, whoever is, you know, assigned to our purpose is there watching us and assisting us all the time. They always tell us, we got your back. 
Even when it feels like everybody's against you and the world is against you. You are against yourself. It ain't that. You know, and it'll be that point. It was like, you know, in my situation, I'm like, these people are all at me. It's, yes, it's going to be like that. They, they were, I had them assigned to you for them to do that. You were looking at universe and God like, that's really messed up. You were assigned people that to me. These are the people that you, these, this is your life lesson. This is your assignment. These are the exact people that are going to be a part of your growth. These are the exact people that are going to help you re, you know, re, reroute yourself to yourself in a person that you never knew, a person that you didn't know was there. It'll be different things where it's going to show you where you feel like you're losing, you're defeated. All these different things is showing you are a winner at all costs. Even if you're not exactly where you want to be at right now, you are a winner at all costs. You just needed these situations to remind you of that. It's not easy to be in your vibration of peace. It's not easy to see everything from a positive perspective. It's not easy for when everything is coming at you for you not to feel like you're a victim of your, you know, the victim of your circumstances. You're not. You're not a victim of that. Regardless of not, no matter what mask that somebody try to put you on or trying to, you know, want to put you in your old element of yourself, you are not the same person that entered this vibration of transition. You are not. Even when it feels like you have not really made no steps in life, your situation is really changing you. And we have to be able to believe that that situation is changing you for the better. You don't know what's around the corner, but you're having faith within yourself as well as the universe. That something is going to be at that point where you are going to show and see, you know, through that proof of element. That you, you are protected. You are always loved. No matter how many people try to go against you to try to make you feel like there's something wrong with you. When you don't live in a hardship of regret or resentment. And a lot of times it's hard for you not to do that. When you even mad at other people and it's trying to tell you, hey, you know, forgive yourself. And it's like, I'm not mad at myself. I'm mad at that person. Yes, but it's putting you in that situation where you have to forgive yourself. You're forgiving yourself for making you feel like you're stupid for loving that person or you're stupid for trusting that person. Never re regret that you have a kind heart and a loving one. You love hard. And that is okay. You know, I had to be at that point. You know, I'd be crying and stuff like that. And it's like never regret. Never regret of having a big heart. Never regret on allowing yourself to give people chances. A lot of times we can't tell the group of, you know, people are supposed to be for a lifetime or a reason or people gonna be on a short time of a season there's a lot of time we got to go through that situation because we actually put them in the wrong you know the wrong category you know we we, we want you know uh, what do they call it let lifetime expectations on seasonal people everybody's coming into your life to teach a lesson as you're being able to teach them a lesson too even your enemies you are gonna be at that vibration where I can say I'm so grateful for them because they helped me find me for who they were or who I really truly am and if I wasn't really you know moving in my spirit like I'm supposed to they wouldn't be trying so hard to try to defeat me it wouldn't take so many people to take down one person you're standing in your power and when you know when you're pushing out good you have to be able to allow yourself don't sit up here and wish nothing speak it a love language you know anytime you're dealing with somebody who's a sociopath psychopath narcissistic behavior codependent karmic toxic anything like that when you're allowing yourself to speak love languages towards them it's like you know what I still love you even though you're placing out so much hurt and pain and hate on me I'm loving you but then it's just like in your mind you're telling them I love you from a distance just because I forgive you people a lot of times people feel like oh that person's a sucker you know though I can keep on saying sorry even though I'm not really sorry or I can keep doing things to them to even make them make them feel confused about their self there is nothing confused about you whether a duck or what's a duck walks like a duck acts like a duck quack like a duck guess what it is it's a duck duck you know Aflac it'll be one of those different situations where you are really going through that where it's telling you really trust your intuition really t trust your intuitive look you know even when your eyes are wide shut you're seeing through that third eye and these are the situations that's going to really make you trust into yourself. These are the situations that's going to be. Because it's like you you dealing, you know, where it's like mission impossible. It ain't impossible for you. It's mission possible for you. You know, you 007. You 0020. You know, whatever. You know, 0022 because this is 22. You know, so you're in those diff different situations into your life where it's really strengthening you. It may be triggering to you. It can may be feeling heavy. It'll be different times where you fall short. You know, a lot of times you're going to have to fail for that ultimate success. 
these are the different things because it's just like when you fail so much and you keep trying and you keep trying and a lot of times they'll make you pissed off at God they'll be making you pissed off at yourself pissed off at your situation all your enemies you ready to go head for head or whatever and these are the different things when you allow yourself even when you you don't feel okay and you feel like you're falling apart you know and you still keep going there's gonna be good karma out there for you whatever you push out to the world speaking that love language people is just like people are in war with themselves they want you to be able to be in that misery with them because when you sit up here arguing with somebody you keeping yourself all in you know in that vibration where you you could be right here and that person's way down here you can't even see it way down here and they just do automatically something just to boat you know just to go ahead and do that because they fear what you are becoming they don't like that you intimidate them you know, I used to hear, you know, why why people fear me and they intimidate me so much? Why they be doing dumb stuff that they know is going to come back and bite them in the ass? And it was just the fact is because we sent them to be able to do that. That was their test. And that was your test too, just to see what you going to allow yourself to do. We going to have, you know, how they always tell you or you ever heard, you know, somebody bring back, bring you a bone. They're always going to carry one back. Or you can be able to sit at a table. Don't sit at a table where they're gossiping about everybody. Because you be that one. When you get up, they're going to be gossiping about you next. You know, move in silence. Continue to be able to allow yourself. If somebody want to sit up here and say, Oh, you know, um, this is not going, uh, your dream is not going to ever come true. You've been, you know, you're, you're dreaming, t excuse me, too big. Oh, excuse me. You're dreaming too big. These are the different things that's telling you. You can believe in yourself no matter what it is. You know, no matter what it is, believe into yourself. No matter what people say out there in the world to you, you're seeing the only thing that really matters is how I feel about myself. What am I projecting? If you know you're projecting all love and you're, you're allowing yourself to be transparent in your situations, you're being honest. Even strong people have weak moments at times. We all make mistakes. I'm beautifully flawed. I'm beautifully imperfected in my perfection, a perfection of imperfection, put it that way. And it's okay to be like that. You know, mattering, lo loving my scars and all, loving the part of me that's effed up, but also loving the part of me that is very strong, ain't something to mess with. You, you that one that's not to be messed with, the force to be wrecked with. You know, and those are the different situations. And when you're allowing yourself to see that, you know, that's a beautiful situation because you're loving that part of yourself. You're even allowing yourself to be okay in that darkness because it shows your light within that. It's following you all around you and it's just always showing you, you know, that light in the end of the tunnel. You are that light. It was always telling you there's a light at the end of the tunnel because it's you that you were that light is always you will find your way out of those situations. Even when it makes you in your confusion, you are your own GPS. It's your God's power sensory. <laughs> you're going to be able to do that. And you're going to be able to find your way out. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this energy, y'all. I said the energy. Well, yeah, content of that energy. Obviously, it was meant for me to say that. The content of this video as well. So I always leave my, my contact uh, information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, you know, just being able to share the different things. It's like always, always feel like it's a student teacher situation because we're all learning off of each other as well as teaching. There may be a different thing that you may be struggling off of that I've overcome and I can be able to give you the cheat sheet of that. And there may be different things that you, you know, you have also overcome that is going to be able to help me as well. We're all healing souls. You know, even the ones that are coming in there trying to tear us our eyes apart, we're all healing souls. We just have our own way of being able to deal with it. So just being able to connect with you on that you know, on that vibration, on that level is truly a blessing to me. Um, whatever we speak on is confidential. Like, you know, a lot of people love to come to me because they know I don't judge them. You know, I speak very honest to them. You know, it's not like trying to speak down to nobody, but we're all learning to get better and a lot of times we're going to have to be able to have corrective criticism to be able to do that and sometimes it's hard to be able to do but hey it's getting you towards that next level you know you want somebody in your life that wants to challenge you in a prosperous way you want to see us like I want to see that person win I want to see I want to be able to support that person you know I want them to be able to go places like I want to be able to go places we on that vibration where we're motivating each other to be that and I love to be able to help others do that as they're helping me to do the same so whatever we speak on is confidential 
confidential if you also go to my community section of my channel it also has podcasts you know different uh posts where it talks about you know the different things we may be going through you know we're on mercury retrograde i forgot which one it is i don't know Ugh. is it aries Thing is Eric. I don't know. But you know, we're going through all these different retrogrades that's coming in place and that mess is hitting like crazy. So, you know, just being able to show that, you know, different empath memes also have different shorts. Uh it is is from I usually get it from either here um, on YouTube or I get a lot of them from Instagram as well, you know, showing different things, whether it's the meditation or it's different mantras or um, affirmations or different things that are funny or different stuff that I see is like, oh my God, I got to share this because it was like the one I just put out the other day. Thanks, Sam. I hope you please let me know how it is. It was one where I don't know where they were, but it was just like they had this grease you know out outside on a campfire and they had it in this big like walk type thing and they put grapes in it you know green grapes and then they put after that they put green grapes in it i don't know if they let them sit there for a minute you know it, i forgot how it went but then they put popcorn seeds in there and the mess came out green popcorn it was like great popcorns so i'm like man has anybody ever had that please let me know you know if you know how to be able to do it please i would love to be able to know that because i said mm, that may taste good so I, you know that was something different for me but i love to be able to share stuff like that and if you feel generous enough to drop a donation as well cash app is there whatever vibrations you're needing right now to get you through your uh, man needs to be able to bring it to fruition. I'm sending that word towards your way. Whether it's con consistency, faith, confidence, balance within yourself as well as patience. Anything that you need to be able to stay in your, your vibration of learning, being able to achieve. I'm sending that towards your way at all time. Know you have so you are right where you need to be. You are in, in your in your power. You're standing into it. You know it's not easy to do so I'm letting you know your, your purpose is meeting here. Is truly needing. You know when you're going through change you're going to help the world change one person at a time so uh you know go ahead and keep going never sleep on yourself you know stay woke you got potential and you have light in your enemy as well as the devil try to convince you dis differently don't give up stay on that so i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things can really take somebody a long way and just because you're doing it for a positive you know positive intention is going to take you even further as well much love. God bless. I say shalom. Peace. Love. Bye.